Hello, this is Maggie. I thought I would do a chart on the gun control march. It will be in every city, USA, on March 24th, 2018. So, you know, this chart just looks awesome. They couldn't have picked a better day to confront these issues. Or it just happens, it just happened. I mean, it just clearly shows the conflict going on, so I'll just dive into it. <coughs> <coughs> the issue is the ARA and the government ignoring the school shootings in our country, from Sandy Hook to Newtown. There's just been <coughs> so many, and they're just being brushed aside. And so the students are rising up, and. Everyone is rising up with them. They, they will be in every single city in the U.S. And I urge everyone to come out and march in support of anyone who would like to change the laws against the assault rifles in this country. And um, they clearly, <coughs> clearly need to be changed. So um, I just thought I would look at the chart on the day they're, they're having this march. And, the ascendant, <clears throat> the ascendant is cancer, which cancer represents our country, you know, the 4th of July, the U.S., the U.S., so that's on the ascendant, and the moon is in cancer, so it's a very, very emotional issue, of course, of course, and, you know, um, a very emotional <clears throat> issue. Um, so basically, I will post this chart. <clears throat> basically, it has everything up in the midheaven in Aries. So this is this is a march for freedom from the tyranny of these gun laws that <clears throat> are the, creating so much violence in America. Um, so the opposite, everything is in opposition. This is, it's just clear. So these glaring, glaring red lines are the squares, <coughs> the squares, and there, the moon is an emotional issue in our country. The moon and Cancer on the ascendant in opposition to Cap Capricorn, the government, and not just the government, but the gun lobbies, the ARA. <coughs> The lawmakers that are supporting this and just turning a blind eye to the tragedy of these school shootings and just giving <clears throat> giving these students and parents who have lost their children just hollow hollow words and thoughts and prayers and it's just not enough so they're rising up and they're planning this march and <clears throat> so these glaring red lines are the challenging aspects, which are the very issues they're challenging. And that's <clears throat> Mars, Saturn, and Pluto, all in Capricorn. So they're taking on this government of the US that's very hardliners. You know, Pluto is the violence that they want to stop in the government. Saturn is the rigidity, <clears throat> such rigid, rigid um, laws that they would like to change or at least be listened to, you know, and, and try to change the, <clears throat> they're not going to stop until these laws are, are changed. Um, and Mars is, it's initiative and <clears throat> violence. And, um, so anyway, it's, it's in the seventh house of Capricorn. Seventh house is relationships. So there, there is going to be a one-on-one -on -one confrontation between the government and this very emotional issue in, in America represented by the moon and cancer. Um, so that, that's one opposition. The moon opposed Mars. Uh, so Mars doesn't necessarily represent violence in this case, but it represents uh, addressing the issue of violence in our country and changing the rigid 
<clears throat> trying to get the government to listen and change the rigid rigidity, which is represented by Saturn in Capricorn, and Pluto is just to transform, transform the whole thing. So Capricorn is in square to Aries. <clears throat> Aries is up on the midheaven, and the midheaven represents the government as well because that's Saturn's house, that's Saturn's home, the tenth house. So we have the sun, Mercury, <clears throat> the planet of communication. The sun is representing, and the ruler of Aries is Mars, the god of war, which is in Capricorn. So free-spirited, independent Aries and Uranus is in Aries. Venus is in Aries, so it's on their side. Venus is a benefic. Uranus wants liberation, independence at any cost. Sudden, sudden abrupt, sometimes <clears throat> revolutions, but it, it, Uranus' sole aim in Aries is to liberate, to liberate the individual, <clears throat> or to liberate, you know, in this case, it's in the 11th house, so it's the group. Uranus has Venus on its side in Aries, and it's leading groups of people to, <clears throat> to uh, march in every city in the U.S. for gun control in our country to stop murdering our students in schools and concerts and everywhere else and to stop turning a blind eye. So that is the issue. Uh, it's a very, very strong issue. And with Mercury, the planet of communication in Aries and Uranus in Aries, they, they will make their needs. They will speak their peace. However, I believe they, the students <coughs> and the anti-assault rifle you know, advocates will be peaceful, you know, because Venus is there. So they will, you know, present their ideas in a clear, concise, um, verbal way. How they will be received is up to, to the government, and they better listen. They better listen. <clears throat> they have the option right now is their opportunity to listen and to work to to work with the citizens of the United States uh, to protect protect them from murder, you know, from murder and assault, uh, and it, they're not being protected. They're, they are not being protected. So Neptune up in the mid heaven as well. Neptune is in Pisces, right on the mid heaven. That is almost like a divine guiding light, almost like a divine guiding um, angel that wants peace. You know, Neptune is all about spirituality. It is the ruler of Pisces. So this, this tragedy, you know, these, these, these children's hearts are breaking, their parents' hearts are breaking, everyone's hearts are breaking over this Valentine's Day massacre, you know, in a, Florida high school. It's not the first. <clears throat> they want it to be the last. And so through their pain and their suffering and their anguish, you know, they have to take to the streets. So they had to set a date for March, <clears throat> March 24th, to give them time to grieve. You know, they're still they're still having, you know, funerals to go to and you know. Yeah, so they have set a date, and it's a very good date, and it looks it looks like it it will be a, a very strong confrontation. I'm, I'm praying to God that <coughs> that you know the Plutonian, Saturnian, Martian forces in Capricorn that it just can be so freaking rigid know such rigidity and it's like is anyone listening you know is anybody really listening 
So Neptune <coughs> denotes, <coughs> excuse my voice, spirituality, spirituality, and that is why it is their time, painful though it is, and horrific, the violence that these kids, they all have PTSD right now from this, and yet they, this is what they have to do, they have to rise up and have a peaceful protest and open dialogue about this to change the laws. So uh, I pray that it will be fruitful. They, Neptune and Pisces is certainly on their side, and I believe it's shining a light on the issue, even though it has been extremely, extremely painful. Uh, Uranus and Aries will be the liberating force. Venus, Venus and Aries will be helpful you know, make it peaceful, peaceful protest. Mercury will help them to articulate their ideas in a very forceful way because, you know, Aries is direct. It's direct, it's to the point, and it, <clears throat> you know, it's in the 10th house, which is the government's house. So they are strictly going to every city in the U.S. and articulating their point very clearly that, you know, they want, they want this, this has to stop. This has to stop. Um, but <clears throat> everything is square. It's a, a challenging aspect to Capricorn, which represents the government in the seventh house of, of partnerships. So this particular, well, it's, it's, of course, it's a chart of their march, you know, the anti-gun student lobby and everyone joining them, um, anti-assault rifle ban, um, anti-NRA in the pockets of the politicians. Um, yeah, we just want to change the laws, you know, I fully support, support them and I pray that, you know, that the government will be receptive and hopefully they'll get someone other than Trump to to speak because, you know, he's not doing such a great job, especially not on Twitter. People just ignore his Twitter rants and anyway, you know, and he hasn't even addressed anyone yet um, other than in a superficial hollow way. It's just, so they want to change things. Uranus will. Uranus is a fighter for change, liber libertarian and justice. Um, they have Venus and Mercury on their side, the sun. So they're in the mid heaven, you know, the, the anti gun lobbyists are in the, not anti gun, they don't want to take away the Second Amendment. They just want to ban assault rifles from <coughs> murdering children in schools, you know, and concerts and everywhere else. We're, we are the most unsafe country in the world when it comes to gun violence. And, they want to change that, and I believe that Neptune and Pisces, <clears throat> through all their trauma and their PTSD and their pain and their suffering, you know, it just saddens me that they have to, they have to go through all this now, but they do, they do, and they're stepping up, and they're angry, and they're, they're still grieving, and they're sad, but with Neptune and Pisces, they're shining their light. They want to shine their light of spirituality on this and taking a stand. It takes such enormous courage. And Aries is courage. It's all about courage. They're very courageous and they're fighters for justice and especially for the underdog. And, you know, if you don't think school shootings are fighting for the underdog, in this country, they are the underdog because nobody is supporting them. Nobody, nobody in government is supporting them, um, and so that's the that's the conflict. And so, when you see the chart I post, you will see the you know <clears throat> the opposition between the, the moon, the very emotional emotional issue in Cancer, our country, the U.S against the government, which will be in the seventh house of relationships, having to deal with these people in power. Very strong, controlling abuse of power, uh, 
rigid structures of power and it bars, you know, just, <coughs> yeah, anyway, having to confront. Mars, Mars is confronting. So they are confronting the powers that be in the U.S. over these issues. And I believe they will do it in a very, very intelligent, articulate, peaceful manner. Um, so what I was getting to are the squares. The squares are challenging aspects, they're 90, 90 degree angles, 90 degrees is a challenging aspect, so it's like their values, their, you know, their position on the gun control issue against the government. Um, so not against, but you know, through challenging them and through opening up a conversation with them, or at least trying to, um, hopefully some results will be achieved. That is that is the hope. That is the hope. And I wish them all, all the luck in the world. Um, I will try to join them, you know, in, in my nearest city <coughs> and uh, in support, absolutely in support. And... I just really pray that our government is just so unpredictable. It's been so unpredictable since Trump, Trump got elected that I, I just, you know, if, if it's just a superficial pat on the head, these kids, are, they're going to see right through it. They're going to see right through it. So they're coming there to call the government on their BS. Um, so, um, yeah, it's a very interesting chart. There are some inconjuncts. Jupiter in representing education in Scorpio. Very, very passionate about, you know, Jupiter is education, the schools, and Scorpio is the school violence that happened to our children, fifth house children. Um, yeah, so I wish them all the best. There are some trines. There are some beautiful trines between the moon and Neptune. It's the spirituality. That's the, you know, being on the side of the right and having, like, like, if you don't believe in angels, just spiritual forces, you know, <clears throat> spirituality, looking out for them, looking out for them in their moments of grief and supporting them in this endeavor. I really believe that. That is what Neptune and Pisces stands for in this, in this, uh, because everything up in, up in there, midheaven, is in Neptune, I mean, <coughs> excuse me, Pisces and Aries. So, I wish them all the best. I wish for healing, <coughs> peace of our country. Excuse me. And if you can, show up in your nearest city and support, support them because they need it. And there are some inconjuncts also, but I'm not going to get into every aspect, but there is some major water going on. <clears throat> it's a very emotional issue. It just happened. It's been happening. And some major fire going on. And so the earth, and those, those are the gun supporters, you know? They want to change. And they have, they're emotionally invested in, the, in this, making a positive change in the world very positive change in the world. That's, that was Neptune in, in Pisces and also Uranus, supported by Venus and Aries and Mercury and the Sun and Chiron. So I believe that they will be supported in this, in this march by just everyone. I believe everyone will come out, everyone will support them 100%, uh, except for some 
hardliners that, you know, even assault rifles, just even the thought of um, firing that many rounds into a deer, you know, is just abhorrent to me, just absolutely abhorrent. You know, it, it, we're talking about people. Uh, yeah, we don't need military grade weapons or drug cartel weapons in our schools. Or in our country, we want a, a, almost a zero murder rate like Japan. That's what we want. You know, <clears throat> everyone's going to have a little bit. And I just uh, pray that they will be receptive. Pluto is trying to Jupiter, so that's good. That's good in, in Capricorn. So, you know, at the very least, it means that, <clears throat> that the government will listen to the children, to their impassioned plea. How can they not? They will listen. Um, it's, it's not trying. It's sextile, rather. Earth and water. So, you know, maybe they will be receptive. I mean, it much better. They don't have a lot of the public on their side right now. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, so and there are some trines, some beautiful water trines between the moon, the Cancer, Neptune, and Pisces, and on the Midheaven, and Jupiter, and Scorpio. So that it's very blessed. It's very blessed for them. It's a bit easy flowing, harmonious aspect. So I believe their communication will go very, very well. And I wish them all the best. Um, and I urge people to get out and support them 100%. And I pray for a very, very strong success. I mean, we can't wait years for this. It needs to happen right away. So please support everyone in these lobbying interests. And uh, thank you for listening. And I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, please like and subscribe. Thank you.